guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rachel if you're new today's video is so fun i'm starting off this vlog with a clothing haul from beginning boutique which i'm so excited to um, be partnering with them in today's vlog so i'm obsessed with like styling and pre-planning outfits so i've chose some items i have them all out on the bed for you guys that i am going to be kind of like styling and showing you how i would style um, and i'm really excited because beginning boutique has such cute stuff you guys you have to go check out their website they are always getting in new arrivals and things like that and they're so super cute right now especially for like fall going into winter i've been really into fashion and like doing outfits and just planning stuff so i have a little haul for you guys i'll have everything that i mentioned linked down below i'll have all the links and i'll also put my sizing just for like size reference and things like that but they also offer um after pay unit days and free express shipping on all eligible orders which is really really nice i do have a code so i'll put it here on the screen for you all so check them out thank you beginning boutique i'm so excited to share these pieces with you guys i'm gonna do just like a haul vlog style because i love when people do that just kind of showing how they would style so first up this chunky sweater which is so good i've been looking for a really thick good sweater that isn't too much material because i love doing this like under tuck right here to all my sweaters you can throw a big trench coat over this would be so cute and i'm like a sucker for a cream sweater i sized up in this and i'm obsessed with it so definitely check this sweater out this is like a staple for your closet and then also we have these green leather pants which fit like a freaking glove you guys these are so cute i got these in a us four i believe look at this color you guys perfect like fit i love the high waist and then i love the colored like shiny button I, I don't know i just feel like this green color can go with so much and the bottoms are like flared out i also grabbed them in black i'll try those on for you but look at these pants they're perfect they fit so so well i love these and i am a big freak about it being loose on the legs like i love pants that are loose on the legs so these fit really really nice and i would definitely like pair this together i love this look together i got the black pair same size you guys the black is also so good i'm like what the heck these are such a good price point and such nice quality like these pants are so stinking cute these are the same pant that i just had on just different color and then this sweater i got this in a medium large i am obsessed with this i feel like i've already worn this in a video and a lot of you guys really loved it and it is so cute again oversized i love like the neutral but still that it's a print and I personally always love like a front tuck, so I would style it tucked up just because I love to be able to see the like pant. But if I was wearing leggings or something, I would definitely wear this like not tucked. So here is the sweater. Look at how cute. I'm obsessed with the print of this and you guys, it's so soft. It's not like too thick. So this is kind of like a way thinner version of the one I just had on, but I just love this. I love how it's neutral, but still cute and fun i would pair this with white sneakers probably and like a cute scarf would be really fun and then again you can always leave it long if you're wearing like leggings this would be cute with denim you can really throw this on with anything next we have this beautiful cardigan i got this in a medium large i just threw like a black crop on but i would maybe do like some not leather i would probably do like since it's knit i would do maybe like some silk trouser or something like that but honestly this it's actually like looks really cute together too there's nothing worse than having like a big baggy sleeve and then it dangling in your food so i love how this is like cinched still at the wrist and it's just like it's just like a really good hitting sweater i feel like it hits perfect it's a really cute little crop but still open so you can wear stuff underneath again i would do this with maybe like i'd maybe put a cream undershirt and then i would do like um some cream silk trousers and then maybe like a pair of brown booties would be cute just to do a more like monochrome look instead of like black and like a harsh color. I would love to see this like with an all white outfit. It would be really, really cute. I love this sweater. Last sweater. This is very different for my style and I like wanted to jump out of my comfort zone. So this is like a printed color cardigan. I wear it closed. I've actually already worn <laughs> this one too. I will say that every single one of these sweaters is not itchy, which is like the biggest pet peeve of mine. I hate when you get like a really cute, nice sweater and it's just like, you're so uncomfortable in it. I wanna be like cozy and relaxed. So this one is really cute because I kinda like to wear it off the shoulder, but I also love the dark, buttons on it so like you could wear it with these leather pants i'd maybe do like jeans or honestly i had it styled with joggers and i really liked it and this is really like oversized comfy and then you can also unbutton it if you want to do like an open look but i've been really into printed cardigans and this is like a perfect cut one 
I really, really like it. All right, this might be my favorite find of this haul. I am obsessed with this crochet dress. Let me raise you guys up. Okay, I would definitely wear this as a cover-up. That's how I wore it in Palm Springs, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm definitely bringing this on my honeymoon. I don't know, I just think that this is like the cutest thing, and I feel like the detail of this is so cute. I love the collared crochet, and then how it's like different on the arms cute little cap sleeve and it's just like so flattering and cute i wore it like really open um with a bikini under it and i loved it i thought it was so fun and different right now i have a bralette and like obviously under on so you can kind of see like if you wore it as a dress you'd have to put maybe like a slip underneath but it would still be so cute in the back i'm obsessed with this like i don't really know what else to say besides i would just wear this with like a bikini cute beach hat some lace-up sandals would be so fun um, or if you wanted to like wear it as an outfit, maybe like obviously the right undergarments with like some white sneakers and like cute little white ankle socks would be so fun with this. I'm obsessed with this dress. All right, we have another crochet piece, which you guys, what the heck? I'm so obsessed with crochet right now. I think it's so cute. I think it's just because I'm kind of like in the honeymoon phase of wanting to like buy stuff for the honeymoon um because we just booked the trip but we're going somewhere tropical and i cannot wait and this is definitely coming with like how stinking cute is this honestly i would style it like how i have it just a black crop and then some black sandals um and then you could put like a little string bikini underneath like running to brunch before you head to the pool i got this in a size small and i feel like it fits me perfect and i just love the detail of their crochet pieces like this is so cute I, I just love this fits perfect if you have like a vacation planned this would also be really really cute with a bikini and then like a big white over shirt over the top honestly i might need to bring this on the bachelorette trip because i don't think i can wait that long to wear it i think it's so flattering and so pretty last up we have this cute leather skirt okay i think i need one size smaller and how cute, high slit leg. So I got this in a one size bigger than the leather pants and I definitely need this in a size four instead of a six, but I love this so much. I feel like it's very like a flattering piece to have for like the holidays. If it fit me right, it literally slits up the side. You guys can see honestly, every single piece that I have, the quality feels insane and the prices are really, really good. So check out everything that i have tried on for you guys linked below that's everything that i got from beginning boutique again i want to thank them for sponsoring today's video but check out everything i'll have it linked down below the sweaters the leather pants everything is such nice quality the dresses if you have somewhere to wear them so cute and i'm obsessed with their stuff they also have new arrivals like i said coming so often dropping to the website so check them out thank you again beginning boutique for sponsoring today's vlog and let's go ahead and get into the video are you running away because the camera got turned on Come here. We are not camera shy. We are not. Come say hello and have good, good manners. We need to have good manners. Oh, I have a zip patch on my face. And you say hello to all of our friends. And you say thank you for coming back to another video to watch us. And you say, today we're getting a Christmas tree. And you say, Mom needs to take me on a walk. Do you want to go on a walk today? Okay, I forgot. Honestly, you guys, I'm just going to leave that on until I go wash my face. But today's vlog is just going to be, it's either just going to be daily depending on how much stuff I get done slash like film today or it'll be weekend vlog. So I'm back home in Colorado. I got home from Palm Springs two days ago yesterday. I spent the day editing, unpacking all that stuff but i still like need to get my life together today so we need to like run to the grocery store i have a workout at noon it's currently nine o'clock so i have a little bit of time i just made a little coffee this coffee for some reason is so good this morning it's like extra creamy i think emily might have changed the beans in the coffee maker and i need to ask her which ones because they're so yummy. It's kind of nice being back at home, not having to eat every meal out. Like Emily and I cooked dinner last night and it was fun, but we are completely out of groceries. We need to go get some stuff. So I'm gonna do a Trader Joe's run today. I think my camera is just always crooked. Dylan is actually in Hawaii, which is really fun, but I miss him. He left, he left the morning that I got back. So we like crossed paths, like I didn't even get to see him. He was leaving while I was on the plane home and he won't be home till Sunday. Uh, they have a football game in Hawaii, which is like kind of crazy and cool. So he won't be home. 
I think it's like the time change and the time of the game and all that it's gonna be a long few days for him but I haven't seen him since I left for Palm Springs so it'll be like a week that I haven't seen him and I feel like we're never gone apart that long anymore minus like this summer when I was in Florida but I'm eating my hair but you know I got Emily here so it's okay I'm about to take this little immunity shot we've been taking these Emily bought them in bulk at Costco I think is where she got them and this is one of my I, I don't want to say favorite because I don't love it but if I had to pick one I would pick this and then I have a little glass of orange juice so I'm gonna eat and drink this hang out I need to check my email today's Friday so things are kind of wrapping up for me for the week I really have I mostly did all editing and computer work emails yesterday so today is actually kind of just like filming chatting with you guys hanging out I kind of want this vlog to be like a little chatty um, vlog I feel like you guys like that I'm gonna take this cheers if you guys have a ginger shot cheers I, I take like three times to take this. I was shocked. Um, Gretchen and Caitlin and Lily and Palm Springs, they all just like down them. And I'm like three sip, three sipper over here in the corner, like struggling. It's okay, I have to have a chaser as well. So here we go. Not that bad. It's actually kind of good. Not me taking three times. For some reason I thought this was ginger, but it's a turmeric one, so. It has coconut water, pineapple juice, ginger, turmeric. I feel like the ginger one from Trader Joe's is worse than the turmeric. The ginger just is like a lot. Yeah, I just lit some candles on the coffee table. I can show you guys. I can't believe I'm filming with this thing on, but these candles. Okay, I need to chat about this for a second because I'm so confused, you guys. I got these candle holders and the candles from Target. So I'm sure one of you guys watching has to have them. And you guys... The candle started off like this tall and it's been melting and I thought that the candle wax was going to go onto this thing, right? Okay, there's no candle wax to be seen and then Emily and I were like, we're, we're all just like so confused by it. Like we have no idea what's going on and so we picked the candle obviously when it wasn't lit up and thought maybe it was all the wax was inside of here but there's no wax. So like where's the wax going? And I feel like some of you guys may be like, oh my God, Rachel, like, come on, it's blah, blah, blah. But I've really, like, all three of us, Dylan, Emily, and I have all been, like, so confused by it. And I'm just like, where, where's the wax going? It's melting. And normally, like, the tall stick candles, it, you know how it pours over the side? Like, why, why is that not happening? I don't, I don't understand. These two are almost out and then I'll put new ones. I've been loving these for the holidays. I feel like it's such like a classic, pretty holiday decor. And you can do it for like Thanksgiving. You can use, I'm gonna use these. I have two more. I'm gonna put them on our little table for Thanksgiving dinner. I feel like it'll be a cute little centerpiece. And then I also have the Frazier. I'll show you guys. Oh my God, I need to deep clean this whole entire house, but there's dust all over this book. But this huge candle is from Frazier Fur. I believe that's how you say it the absolute best smelling christmas candle ever also these roses are like three weeks old please tell me how they still look like this trader joe's has the best flowers in the world i do not understand how they last so long i'm gonna turn on maybe a youtube video to drink my coffee with i like to well, i try to when i'm drinking coffee to not like have anything planned like my coffee time is my time so i'm gonna watch a little video on youtube i'm gonna see who's posted when we were in palm springs um we all sat on the couch one night and watched sarah's day wedding video and just like sobbed and i was like it just got me so excited for the wedding Gretchen's like in the corner sobbing and i'm like i know it's so sad i think i've watched her wedding video like seven times and i still get so emotional about it i'm like i think it's because i know that it's like my turn now and i'm so excited i'm just so excited that was that's all i also linked my gift guide over on instagram if you guys want to have it over there as um, easy access i just saved it to a highlight for you guys so i'm gonna watch i'm gonna watch holiday decor shop with us with julian hunter cute come here are you gonna go do something <laughs> Do why do you have Christmas decor above? What is all that? Why do I? Or why are you upside down? So don't you? <laughs> How come the Justin Bieber album has been out for... Not the Justin Bieber album. The Justin Bieber Christmas album has been out for God only knows how long. And I still, every year, am obsessed with it. The memory card was full. What's new? I need to go get a new memory card and maybe another camera for Vlogmas. 
I just went and bought a hard drive yesterday because my hard drive was full. Anyways, we're getting off topic here. Amazon Music and Apple Music have the Carrie Underwood My Gift, I think is what her Christmas album is called. She came out with it last year, and I love the songs on there. They're so good. Every time I'm getting dressed in my bedroom, Winnie just stares at me. She's standing on the little porch outside of our bedroom. Winnie, you need to go play and be a dog, okay? You need to be a dog. I got a new color of the OnCloud sneakers, the white. I think I've talked about these and you guys. I'm obsessed with them. It's kind of like a nude sneaker. They're like an off-white with the caramel. They're on my gift guide and they're so cute. I'll link them in this video as well. And I sized up half a size in their sneaker. So I recommend doing that if you guys are looking into getting these. But they're really, really cute. I love them. And so comfy. Emily also bought them, but she does Orange Theory. She said they're not a great running shoe, which I think is like what they're made for. So it's kind of like weird, but we're going to do a workout. First workout back after vacation. I just had a granola. I knew I had chocolate in my teeth. Okay. Well, I have no food. I just ate the last two granola bars and use the last bit of the creamer so we like have got to go to the store I also need to go to the dry cleaners I just have things to do I'm gonna stop by oh why uh haven't worked out since like Friday of last week it's currently Friday again so I always get a little nervous for my worst for my first class you know I feel like when you take at least a week off from working out you have to just like rip the band-aid off you know it's like it kind of sucks but you just got to get into it and then once you're like two classes in you're like back on it so today is ripping the band-aid off because it's been a hot second um and i know a lot of you guys have been asking about the peloton and i love it so much request me over there okay well you guys request to be friends with me on Peloton so we can share workouts, but I think it's just Rach Racky is my username. I've been doing the Peloton and Emily and I have both been using it, but I have my Spanga membership till December 12th and I was like, if I have it, I need to at least like use it. You know, like I'm always gonna have the Peloton bike. So I just ended up getting the Peloton earlier than expected. I thought it was gonna take weeks to ship, but it came quick. So I didn't cancel my Spanga in time. So I have both right now, but I'm not like planning on keeping both. It's just kind of like, I'm just using it until it is gone because I feel like wasteful if I'm not like going and so I'm like I'm always gonna have the Peloton so I might as well get my use out of Spanga. So anyways, we'll get the mail. Joe's, you guys, they have the wreaths, and I got so many of them. My cart is rolling down the hill. I'm trying to get, <laughs> I'm trying to vlog. I'm like, where do I put my cart? Okay, maybe it'll stay right there. Trader Joe's run is done. I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. I got so much fun stuff. I met one of you guys in Trader Joe's, so cute. If you're watching, I'm already forgetting your name because I'm the worst, but thank you for saying hello. They had all their wreaths and stuff out and she told me that she saw down the street um, that they had all the Christmas trees out. So I think Emily and I are gonna go look tonight and try to get a tree. So I'm gonna go home, get all this unpacked. All right, I just took everything out of the bag because I wanted to do a little grocery haul. Um, I didn't get any protein because we have some in the freezer from Costco and then also it's the weekend so we're going to be eating probably dinners out but we just wanted to get stuff for like snacks, breakfast, lunches and then I kind of started prepping for some stuff for Thanksgiving since it's literally like four days away which is crazy. Um, Dylan's grandma comes on Tuesday 
So in four days, yeah. So I got some sweet potatoes. These are really good. We are gonna do sweet potato casserole, but in case we wanna eat them before, I can always get more. Um, I got some butter, milk, 2%. <laughs> um, sourdough bread, the best freaking bread ever, you guys. I love this stuff. and It lasts pretty long, but I like to put it in the refrigerator. Um, these are mine and Emily's favorites, these hash browns. I got some pre-made salad kits, which I'm gonna have one for lunch. We have these in Palm Springs and they were so good. I got two of those, some garlic. These mini heirloom tomatoes are so good and sweet for like breakfast hash or just like on sandwiches, salads, whatever. Got two avocados, lemons, limes, honey crisp apples are the literal best. Um, I got some strawberries. Got some blueberries, carrots for snacking. I got two, two ginger shots. Um, they always make me feel really good. I just hate taking them, but you know, whatever. Green onion, this spinach dip is so yummy. Spinach and kale yogurt dip. Um, and then I got two more of these pre-made little salads. Um, we have some of these, let me show you guys. We get these from Costco and they are so good. They taste like Chick-fil-A nuggets in the air fryer, you guys. And we just slice them up and put them on the salads. It's just such a quick, easy meal. So I got those. And then I got some stuff for, we're obviously gonna be doing like a cheese board one night for Thanksgiving. So I've started kind of getting like stuff together for that. We got this caramel sauce, which I like to do sliced um, green apple and then these toffee bites on top for an app. It's so yummy. Um, this was the last jar of these pickles at the store. So I was like, I feel like I need to get these for the cheese board. These are so yummy. We have these every year for the holidays. These parm crisp. Um, I got some gummies and then these are my favorite crackers. They only come out with the trio, I think around the holidays. Or I could be wrong. I don't know if I missed this in the store. I did get some hand soap and lotion for the guest bathroom that was like Christmas themed. And then, best part right here, we've got all of the holiday stuff. So I stopped, I stocked up. I got one wreath. I figured I could put this outside in the backyard, hang it on one of the windows. I thought that would be cute. And then I got two things of garland. I didn't know how long they were and I want, I want to do garland over this so we're gonna do that figured if we had extra we could just like put it somewhere else i got some of these pine cones for the bowl on the coffee table that smells so good and then this for the centerpiece table for right here which look at how clean the kitchen is this might be the cutest thing in the world i saw this and i was like i have to get this i think it was like 2.99 and i want to hang it <laughs> dylan's out of town right now so i want to hang it on our door um like right above our bedroom door <laughs> And see if he even notices it when he gets home. He probably won't, but you know. Also, Truff sent me a huge package of all of their stuff, you guys. Look at how much stuff they sent. Emily and I actually had, I used to buy this off of Thrive and they sent a bunch. So we used the one that I bought from Thrive. Uh, we used this one last night, it was so good. Packaging is so cute. Okay, look, they sent white truffle, yum. They sent hotter sauce, which Emily and Dylan will love. Truffle oil, which I will love. Winnie, stop. No. Oh, you want to say hi to the vlog? Okay. Go. Go say hi to the vlog. So excited about these two. The truff, black truffle mayonnaise, and then black truffle infused spicy mayonnaise. Are you kidding me? On sandwiches, that would be so good. Put all of this away. Thank you so much, truff. Literally, you guys, it looks like Chick-fil-A. And then I'm gonna just pour these into bowls. I'm gonna do one for M, one for me, and I just slice up the chicken. It's such an easy, good lunch, and it's like fairly healthy. Sometimes I'll use my own dressing just because sometimes the dressing in these aren't the best. I mean, those took five minutes. You cannot tell me that those don't look like Chick-fil-A nuggets, you guys. So I'm gonna just slice them up, put them over these salads so good you guys it literally takes less than five minutes all right we're going to get a christmas tree hopefully 
There's still some. I mean, it was the first day. Look, these are the hair pulls I got. Well, Bill. Not a stall takes them, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. little boys in there were those two they must have just like gotten out of school or something and they must like gotten dropped here or something and they're so excited about their drinks oh they got like they frappuccino for i know they ordered right before oh, me or i would have the little boy was so cute Ooh, this is good you would really like that <laughs> do you like it you i look like so the... tan Oh, when I when I was on my meetings this morning, I didn't wash the tan off yet. And people are gonna spring. ask what salt tan you're wearing, so you might as well say. Like, what do you have on your face? Um, you gave it to me. The oh, Isle of Paradise. Hours. No, the two hour. Oh, you did body too. Yeah. Bondi boost. No. The pink. oh oh, oh loving, loving tan. tan. <laughs> loving tan. There's so many different ones. You forget. Okay, we had to change the plans because the place that I thought we were gonna get a. I look like a marshmallow. It's not this cold out. <laughs> I look like a boy. Yeah, it's 60 degrees. It's what are we doing? Now I'm kind of second guessing getting... Well, I, I, I want to go get the tree, but I'm kind of thinking, how are we going to get it in the stand completely straight with just you and I? Like, I've been Dad telling you that the entire that. time, but I mean, I feel like... I. It's not going to be that big of a tree. It's only going to be a seven-foot tree. Yeah, and if I break a nail, I don't care because I'm getting them done. I might break a nail, but I also don't care. You guys, it's four o'clock, and it's already getting dark outside. It's so annoying. But the place that I wanted to get a tree from, they don't start selling trees till the 26th. I guess they were just setting up. So we're gonna like drive a little bit and go get another one that opened today. Which if you have a real tree, why? I guess people don't want it to die. But at the same time, like how long does a tree stay alive for? I don't know, but if we're leaving, I feel like this is a little early to be getting it. No. Because I feel like mom said I called mom before this and she said that ooh better be careful that's a little early. Oh, really? But we're leaving like we for the holidays. Early. No, remember when we would get a real tree, mom and dad wouldn't let us get it till after Thanksgiving. Uh, not really but early. if we're leaving for the holidays anyways, it's like it's not even gonna be up, so it doesn't even matter. But when we leave, like tree watch this guy. Trees catch fire. Do you what do you do when we leave? We have to throw the tree away. We do before we get out get out of there. We do? Yeah, I mean, we're leaving the 14th of December, or the 15th, Are we? probably. Are we? we're going skiing. After yeah, so we're not even leaving until the 20th. So it's like we basically have it. I don't mind time. staying here. That looks huge, Emily. These are cute. <laughs> Mine was 12. I oh, they said seven. The, the garland was 12, and then, but I don't know how long it is. I had to get two. I think, I think where I just got it was a better price. Mm. But so they're cute. So Let's get this for the front. If it was a <laughs> they have so many that this was not here when Dylan and I came when did you them? like a week ago but they still don't have many though like this is slim pickings that's why I think we should go to the tree farm it's hard oh, that one looks good. Uh, I think it looks way I think we need that one looks good on the bottom wait we have to wait what are the different types of trees there's different kinds <laughs> We don't know what to do because we're the only ones out here and these are too small and also I don't like this kind of tree. Like whatever this kind of bristle is, I don't like This is that. a freezer for that's what mom and dad get. It is. I think we just get one and hope for the best. Well we need we need help. But then again, like I want I kinda wanted to go to the tree farm because they probably like put it on the car to be like there's no shot. No, someone someone puts this. it on the car for us. Are you sure? This one looks good. Like, does no one work here? <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. I don't know. We need to go find some help. Does warm white mean? I'm confused. How many? How many should I get? What are you putting on a tree? Yeah. Should I think I should get three to be Kate. They're only 100, 100 lights. We went to Target. I left my camera in the car. <laughs> Winnie, we got you a present. Oh, we got oh, you a new sweater. Oh, she wants me. I think that the tree place was just like setting up today, which 
the email said otherwise, but it's fine. Um, they were undoing them all. And so we wanted to be able to see them all and like pick and it not be like sewn up. So we went to a tr the tree farm lot and they were like setting up whatever. We're just gonna go in the morning um, just so we didn't like rush them and tr you know, we're just gonna go in the morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait. <laughs> Charlie really likes Charlie. You are going to match with Winnie. Are Charlie and Oliver are Charlie and Winnie cousins? Or yeah. no, because we're sisters. No, they're cousins. They are. I don't really know. I don't really know either. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't want to think that hard. <laughs> Charlie's literally waiting for her sweater to oh, get put on. She likes. Uh, I don't know if I'd say like, but she's used to it. Winnie doesn't like it, and I still make her. But no, Charlie does like it, Emily. Does she? I'll She's link used these. To we got from uh, Target. How much are they? Like 12, 12 bucks. 12, yeah. 13. I get Winnie a medium. Oh wait, did you get Charlie a medium or a small? Because oh, this is a little tight. This looks small. This is not going to fit Winnie. Winnie, girl. Look, Winnie's waiting for hers. <laughs> wait, why did we get Charlie and Oliver the same size? They're not the same size. Because they looked like they were. I'm so mad right now. Why? Did, every time I buy a dog sweater, I have to return it for a new size. It never fails. Winnie, even if this doesn't fit, you're sticking with it. Oh, it's tight on her. <laughs> Winnie, you lose some weight. Oh, Charlie looks so cute. Charlie, let's show everybody. Winnie, give me your arm. Actually, no, this might fit Winnie. Look at Winnie. Look at Winnie. This is my Christmas sweater, and I love it so much. It's so cute. <laughs> It looks like they're in their jammies. <laughs> I'm sweating just looking at them. Wait, do you like, do you think it's good for Winnie? I feel like the next size would be too big. <laughs> but it kind of looks a little tight. I, oh, shit. Uh, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie's a rock hat. Charlie and Winnie are the rock hats. <laughs> oh, and girls, take it away. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm about to be my favorite. <laughs> Look at Winnie. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm gonna say I abuse my dog. <laughs> Winnie, stop punching them in the face. Winnie, your turn. Rocket time. Get your legs going, girl. She's trying to light you. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Take him with him. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Take oh, it away. Bye, you. So hurry. <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys, we're finally getting a tree. See how the inside isn't dead? Yeah, but it's it that's too wide. And look, look at this huge empty spot right here. Yeah, it's like this oh, no, no. Okay. Can I, I think one of these. Oh, wait, no, this one's like missing. I think. Of oh, that one? Yeah, what about this one? The first one we walked up to. Well, then maybe that's just how their Christmas trees are. Mm -hmm. No, because that one's not. This one looks pretty. And this, you could cut this. What about this one? This one's not dead. This one's not dead. Way too big. I think that's like a 10 foot. No, it's just as big as the other ones, right? These are the fat ones. These are the big boys over here. If I did, if Look, I'm going into a jungle. Cool God, I'm getting some good content. You're welcome. I don't like that one. It's too. But it looks like my. Looks like an actual tree. Yeah, that looks cool. Well, if that's the look you're going for. It's just I think not. That we need to pick between one of these two over here. What about uh? That one would be good if it didn't have that right there. I know. What about this one? This one back Ooh, here? look at that one. Let's go look back here. How you can see the, because I was going for a simple, like I'm not over decorating it. And it's pretty narrow. I kind of like that. Do you? Yeah. Because in the inside, it's not dead at all. This one's really pretty. Okay, well, here, hold it and I'll get it out. Oh my god, you are not going to be able to get it out. They have it like nailed. Oh yeah, it's like in there. Okay, let's let's ask how, let's ask about this it. one. All right, you guys, we got the tree, and now Emily and I have to get it Me off the too. top of the car. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna cut my two sides, and it's gonna roll to you. No, 
know, that, that is an empty spot. That needs to be in the back. Okay. <laughs> this is where you need to belong. It is recorded. Where? The camera set on the tripod. Where? In the garage. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the camera. Go. I, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's not well, heavy at all. Winnie's like, mm -hmm. no wonder she like flipped it up like that so easily. What? It's ripping at the button off my sweater. The netting is stuck on. Not the gum drop button. It's too. Oh wait, it's perfect size. <laughs> we need to scoot it out. Scoot it out. Wait, wait. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. Okay, you're not on it. Lift it. Okay, you're on it, you're on it. Okay, perfect. Now kind of like shove it down. Wait, let me do this. Did it do it? Yeah, it did. How did you do that? I lifted up and I pushed it. Okay, I'm gonna start. About the tree and the stand. I think it's a little tilted. No, <laughs> this is so funny, because dad used to do this with us, but we're gonna cut it open, let it fall for like the day while we leave. And then- You wanna cut it? You can cut it. Just don't cut the tree. I'm scared that it's not like secure. I feel like it might fall over. So if it falls over, it's on you. Yes, yeah, some of them were so full that I was like, where would you even put an ornament? Well, that's what she was saying. But we might need to pull this out a little bit because it is hitting the window. Yeah. Oh my God, it looks really good. We did a good job. Okay. Your <laughs> window, so you hear. You guys, look at the. Buddy! <gasps> oh my god, are you kidding me? Hey, little guy! Emily had a pair of aligned leggings that, when she was putting them on, realized that there was like a snag and no, it turned my, into a it, hole. My gross nail. My nail got it. Oh, your nail. My nail, I went to pull it up to make them more, like, up on my body, and I pulled it up so it was tight, and my nail literally just jabbed right through it. Dang. Yeah, and so we just went into Lulu and they gave her a new pair. And I knew that they did that because I had mentioned, keep I did going, not, Emily, you don't oh have a stop. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, I, I always see I mean, on TikTok. I literally walked in the store, the person looked at me and said, what can I help you with? And I showed her the hole. She said, okay, let's go get you a new pair. I said, yes, ma'am. That's why Lulu is the best because they do stuff like that. And that's why I'm like, okay, it's worth the money because the quality. And then if something does happen, they're like, but it when shouldn't have, you have ever, happened. when have you ever brought... A pair in and in that. college, I brought did. a pair. Well, anyways, uh, she was in the store, and then we just realized there was a baby little golden doodle in the car beside, and it was insert clip here. <laughs> I would say it was probably more the color of Winnie than Charlie, color of Winnie, mm, and Winnie, it just yeah, makes me want to have another baby puppy because they fade. Like Charlie was. Puppies are the best. Charlie. Okay, we just got to Denver. We're going to eat at Bar Taco. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't ate at this one here yet because it's like an hour drive from no, Fort Collins, but we have one in Raleigh and it's so yummy. That's cute. Yeah, you should post that. I just took some God, it's bomb awesome. photos of Emily. <laughs> Two pork belly. What was? Oh, this is the Brussels sprout. Gretchen told me to get this one, and I'm gonna try it. And then this is. I think this is new. What was it called? Ribeye Rib with like an Asian slaw. No kimchi. Oh, kimchi! It looks so good. We got salsa. Some sides. The corn is the best here. You have to get it. Dress I found and where are we? I have no idea. Nina and Marcus. I don't know. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> Bronx and something. It's from. They have this brand on a Revolve and look how cute. But I'm not a huge fan of the color. But it is really cute. Emily's trying on sunglasses. I liked the first pair you had. What was the pair I had that you liked of this pair? These are kind of cute. It's hard to tell because look at this thing. I kind of like these two, but like, what are these? Right, right? It looks funny with the thing. <laughs> these are good. Minus this. Oh yeah, those ones are way so really cute. Done. We got 
a pomegranate lemonade from Nordstrom Cafe. It's so yummy. And then I got a, it's like an hour drive home and I didn't want to fall asleep on Emily driving. So I got the caramel macchiato with extra ice. <laughs> so exciting, right here. It looks really cute. Put it on. What? Put it on. <laughs> She, she's been look, like wanting a new nicer hat. We'll link this one. Look at how cute you guys, right? <laughs> we're back home. We were gone literally all day. Uh, we just had fun shopping around and stuff. I feel like we haven't like gone to the mall. Well, I at least haven't gone to the mall with like somebody else in forever. So it's kind of fun just like hanging out. We went to Bar Taco, you guys saw. We got some fun stuff. So I'll do a little like haul of things I got in the next vlog, but we're about to go watch um, we're about to go watch a movie. We're gonna watch, we just rented it on Amazon Prime Video, I think that's what it's called. And it's called A Simple Favor. A few weeks ago, I put on my Instagram, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle here. Um, like really good suspense thriller movies, which are like mine and Emily's favorite kind of movies. Dylan will not watch them with me. So whenever I have someone else to watch them with, I'm like, I take full advantage. A lot of you guys recommended it called A Simple Favor. And I'm really excited. So it looks good. It has Blake Lively and some other good actors and actresses in it. So really excited. But I'm going to end off the vlog. Uh, we have the tree up. It looks so cute. It's a little... <laughs> It looks it looks so good. It's a little crooked right now because we need Dylan's help like holding it still and putting it in the um, tree holder. So he'll be home tomorrow. He's in Hawaii right now. He actually is playing right now on TV. We've been watching the game since we've gotten home. So that's been fun, but he'll be home tomorrow, which is nice. Tomorrow's Sunday and I'm gonna be filming a like Sunday reset, like Sunday routine video, which I know you guys like. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram and you are subscribed to the channel. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers. So it's so exciting and crazy. So make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, I think that that's it. Again, don't forget to check out Beginning Boutique. I'll have everything that I talked about in the beginning of this video. What? Yeah, I'll have everything linked down below and thank you again to beginning boutique for sponsoring today's video They have such cute stuff. You guys check them out um, I just recently discovered and they're like one of my new favorite stores. So check them out and yeah, that is all I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys <laughs>